In this video, I'm going to be sharing an AI automation for any marketing campaign. A few weeks ago, I figured out that you could automate basically 80% of the marketing that you need to do for any marketing campaign. So for example, if you're an ad agency, not only can you automate your onboarding of your clients, but you can automate most of their campaigns that they want to run get them to fill out a form and then generate the copy that you need with AI, but not ChatGPT. Using the ChatGPT dashboard is not only slow and time consuming, but it doesn't produce the highest quality results. By using the API and building automations, we can do so much more. I'm going to show you that in a second. But we also use them in our particular business for work workshops and online summits, masterclasses. We're building one out now for a webinar where we have different hosts for each of those things. And what used to happen was we would do a planning session with them. Then I would sit down and figure out what to do for five hours and write all the copy and so forth. And then I would go back to the host for the approval. Now what happens is the host fills out the form. The first draft of the copy gets generated automatically with AI. And then I do about 10 minutes of editing. And then that is it. It's completely mind blowing. So let's dive in. The first one I'm going to take you through is an ads example. So I have this small agency called Scale My Summit. I run ads for virtual summits for people. So these are just one-off events. They usually go for four to five weeks. And for a little while there, I was saying no to these particular jobs because it wasn't worth my time. But now with this automation, it eliminates at least four hours of the work that I used to do and so that it does become worth it again. So what do I mean by this? Basically, we need to have an intake form that figures out all of the information that we need for our ads. And then the ad copy that we produce will actually be really high quality. So we ask all of the normal stuff that you would want to ask when you bring in on a client, like the URLs and the offer and the return on ad spend target and their budgets and so forth. But then we can ask them more specific questions like for ads specifically, I'd usually match it to the headlines of the registration and sales pages. So I'm asking for what those headlines are and their descriptions. And then we're just simply templating the prompts for the AI on the back end. We're also asking some really important questions, which I've talked about in another video. If I remember, I'll link it down below, but it talked about generating an emotional triggers report. So things like pain points toward and away from motivators before you start writing your copy with AI and you get way better results. So we can actually integrate the question that will help generate that report into here. And our customers will be none the wiser. They're basically doing what I would typically do after I've spoken with the customer. But I figured why add the extra step of like me going in there and doing all the work when they could just fill it out themselves and we could completely eliminate that step, which means it's saving time for me and ultimately it's gonna be a better product. So asking all of those types of things, how the campaign helps the clients, what are their ideal customer is, their writing style and their unique selling pro proposition. So then that comes into the back end. I'll show you this first record here. This is actually for one of my brands and what it does as soon as that form is submitted is it generates pain points first of all. So this is for a dog training event. The pain points was uncontrollable dog behavior, ineffective training methods, and the urgent need for solutions. So now what we do is we reference all of that information there in our future prompts when the AI is generating the ads so that the ads can speak to these particular pain points. But that's not all. We've got our motivators as well. So humans either move towards pleasure or away from pain. So we generate these with AI as well. So it simply just grabs a template, fills in the template with all of that information that we have just created. And I ask it to give two variations of every single template so that I can come in and choose from. So all I need to do now after that's been generated all on autopilot. So at this point, I've not even looked at the ads when I'm coming in. It's all just sitting there ready for me to go. I can just mix and match any of these particular ads that I like. If we need to change a few words, we change a few words, but most of the time it is pretty spot on. So if you wanted to pause and read these particular ads, you would see that they're pretty decent ads. This is the structure that I've used for summits for many years now, and they continue to work every single event, but it's not just the main ads as well. I've got templates for retargeting ads as well. I've got templates for like shorter retargeting templates. I've got templates for the offer as well, and it generates all of the offer stuff here as well. Then I've got templates for each day to drive engagement through ads. All of this is done completely from that onboarding form without me touching anything at all. It's completely mind blowing. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. It's insane, but it's not just ads. Here's another example that I'm just about to finish setting up. So I've been working on this one today. 
this is for masterclasses. So we have a pet care company. We have a uh, monthly membership that people sign up for. And part of that is we do a masterclass each month by a certain expert in the particular industry. So what will happen is again, I'll have an explainer video of how they should fill out this form, but it's the same type of thing. We're asking them to fill out the, all of the important information for their particular masterclass. So the name, how does it help the audience, who their ideal customer is, their unique selling propositions. You notice these are some common occurring questions and the agenda and the outcome for the masterclass, any bonuses and so forth. Once they fill that out, then it takes them into a our dashboard in Airtable where we then generate website copy, email copy, all in the one go as well. So all we need to do is since that is now, has now run in the background, has created our pain points, emotional triggers and our motivators. So after we hit that button, the output is then generated on this screen here, which tells us what the copywriting is for, what brand it's for. And then it tells us over on the side here where this particular copy should be located. So it starts based on the templates that I use when I write my own copy, which is start with some questions about the pain points, aggravate those pain points. Then we want in the next part, a bullet list of key topics that we're going to cover. So we've got our key topics here, how to decode kidney health, partner with, how to partner with your vet, natural remedies, DI food and supplements, safe detox strategies. Then the next part is who is it for? So the this is for struggling pet parents, helpless caregivers, seekers of natural solutions. And it just goes on. Then we have another in that same uh, workflow. Once that what create website copy is completed, we then have our prompts for our email copy. And once that email copy is then generated, it takes us into the email copywriting approvals. Then we've got all of our emails here to approve. So this one is our statistics email, which references some st statistics that we put into the form in the first section, then it, then it aggravates some pain point, introduces the workshop, gives the information of when, on when the workshop is actually going to be on. What are the key points that they'll be learning or getting from that workshop? The key points they'll learn and insert so a testimonial that we add into the form as well, and then makes a call to action. Plus then I've instructed it to provide us with a few subject lines down the bottom to choose from, and we can run AB tests for that as well. And it's not just pain point type of emails. It could be any type. So for example, we have an FAQ email here as well. So the questions that we're getting to ask, is this workshop for me? How long before I see results? What do I actually get access to? Are there any hidden costs? How much time will it take for me to learn everything? For how long do I have access? And so it repeated itself there, that these things are going to happen. You still can't rely on the outputs hundred percent. You've got to do your editing as well. Are there any guarantees? Can I find this on inf information on Google? I actually have in the prompt to make sure that it asks that question because it's a key point for us to hit on for, to get people to make a decision to come and learn with us. So I actually add that one into the prompt, but the others are just generated based on what would be the best questions to use for this particular workshop based on all of that website copy that we were just looking at before. Like I said, these particular workflows are uh, absolutely mind blowing. About 80% of what I used to do for these campaigns is totally gone. And I'm not even kidding about that. Like many hours per week is gone for me right now. I work on this brand less than one day a week and it generates us half a million dollars a year. So that's all I have for you today. But if you are interested in more of these advanced techniques, I do have a newsletter. There'll be a description down below where you can sign up. And soon I'm going to be doing a proper masterclass where I just give away all of this stuff that I'm actually doing in a much more structured way so that you can see exactly how you can get started as well. So to get notified about that, join the newsletter and I'll see you there.